Oh, wait, you know, we, we, we do. We do have another meeting with that uh, protocol lady. Miss Copeland again? Yeah, yeah. I, I, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just, I forgot about it. You know, I was planning the wedding and I just... Oh, Cassie, uh, please, we completely understand. And we do appreciate the hospitality, mm -hmm. but we have a hotel room of our own and we should be getting out of your oh, way. No, really, you must. You must stay here. There's plenty of room. And Cassie and I would love to have dinner with you after we're through. Uh, I'll have a staff member give you that tour in the meantime, all right? Oh, great. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll call the hotel and have them send your things over. Uh, Blake, on second though, could we postpone this tour so we can get settled and I can call home and ask about Danny and Michelle? Ah, uh, um, all right. Okay. Great, I I'll show you to your room. There's a, there's a telephone in there you can use. Sure. We have about 20 minutes before she'll be here, so... Right. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Natalie, hi, it's Cassie. Right, um, I, I, Richard and I would like to meet with you in about uh, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm, my room. Okay, great. Hey, hey, um, you know Ross can do all that by himself. I wanted to see you. You okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? I just felt this tension, and I... Cassie, is this... Is it about the marriage of convenience thing? Is that... Uh, no. Oh, God. No, it, that is... That is the... That is the one perfect thing. Perfect? Perfect. Perfect? Does that mean... That means... Well, what that means is that, um... Uh, Richard told me that he was in love with me, and I told him that I was in love with him. Oh, 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 I'm so, oh, you love each other. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I'm so happy for, oh, tell me everything. Tell oh, me everything. Oh, well, I mean, it just happened, literally, you know? I know, because I, I talked to you a couple of days or whatever, and, and about the book, and... I didn't and... know then, so, oh. yeah. The moment. I want to hear the moment. Well, he kind of pulled away from me when he was kissing me, and it was an unplanned kiss, of course, and he said that he just, you know, I, he couldn't do this anymore. And I tell you, Blake, my heart oh. was in my throat, and I just thought, oh, my gosh, and then he just blurted it out. He said that he was in love with me, and he had been for a long time. <gasps> yes, that's exactly how I felt. And then he was floored when I told him that I was in love with him, and we just realized that we were just so afraid to admit it to each other. So that that's just so beautiful. Happened. I think I'm going to cry. I did. I cried. <laughs> did you? Oh, man. Oh, and you didn't want me to write this because you said it wasn't going to have a happy ending. Well, it does now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, gee. You're sure making this hard to write about the weeks leading up to the wedding. You know, couldn't you have just waited for a little while longer to, to, to hold out on that romantic tension? I think tension I've waited thing? long enough, thank you. All right, fine. I guess my characters could use a couple of chapters when they're hopelessly in love and nothing comes between them. Yes, that would be nice. Mm. I'm glad I waited on you for that tour because now I personally want to hear all the romantic stories behind every room. Well, I don't really have any yet. Oh, you will. <laughs> About the tour. Um, there's some renovations going on for the wedding, so some of the rooms are kind of off limits. So why don't I give you the tour and therefore you won't get into any trouble from huh? the rest of the staff. So... Me? Trouble? Oh, okay. Got it. Closed door, go the other direction. Thank you. I appreciate mm. that. Thanks. <sighs> what? Are you not telling me something? Me? You know I can't keep a secret. I didn't go to Edmund's apartment with the desire to invite him to dinner. You didn't? No. Okay. I went there when he wasn't there, and I just let myself in. Harley. Honey, let me finish, because I didn't know what was going on. So I went over there. Now, this is before I ran into you and Rick at company. Mm -hmm. I went over there, and, <clears throat> and I let myself in, and then Edmund came home. And he found you there? No, he didn't. I slipped into a closet and didn't even know I was there, and then I got out without him ever seeing me. But that's when I overheard him say that okay, he had something on Okay, but the on point me. is, you broke into his apartment yeah. after I specifically asked you to leave this alone. Yeah. Yeah. But, see, it gets better. Uh-huh. I was there, and then I left my purse. So I had to go back, and I had to have an excuse for being back there, and then when I was with him, I couldn't think of anything, so I just... Invited him to dinner. Yeah. Good thinking. 
good. It was really good. I mean, I, I don't want to get your hopes up, but I think that portrait of me can fetch a couple million dollars someday. It was really good. Mommy, Edmund! Hello, sir. Uh -huh. Hi, there you are. Oh. Hi, Prince Edmund. And hello to you, Princess Lizzie. Are we having another party? Uh, I, I guess we, we kind of are. Yes. Cool. You can sing this time. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that, but perhaps I can tell you a story. You see, a frog happens to have my voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is he doing here? Harley invited him to dinner. Don't Fine. ask. Don't ask. So what are you planning on doing? Uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the pleasure of his company. Ah. What else can I do? Well, and, and what's my job? All right. All right. Stop you from killing him. This is what I want you to do. I want you to stay awake and talk to me, okay? I want, I want you to think about all, all the things that we're gonna do now. Just the simple things, like, like going to lunch together and putting our little baby girl to sleep. And Matt, I... I have to tell you about that night. No, 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 night. Vanessa, you don't have to tell me about that night. You're too weak. I have to, in case... In case something happens no, to me. Honey, nothing's gonna happen to you. You are getting better. And that's what I want you to that think night. about. That's what I want you to come. Hush. That night, I went to bed. Look, look, forget about that. Vanessa, look, think about other things. Oh. Think about your little girl. Think about your little baby girl, Maureen. That's what I want you to concentrate on right now. Vanessa? Vanessa? No. Vanessa? Vanessa? Honey, wake up. Vanessa? Vanessa, sweetheart?